So, hello everyone! So, for this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step on how I've created this back-to-back -back crochet top. Okay, if you've watched the first video, I have presented the pattern on that one. So, for this one, how to create those uh, stitches. So, in reference, I'm gonna be using different yarn. So, you can adjust it on the yarn available on you. And I'll be using this brand, okay, with the following label. And since it recommended uh, four graded four hook size, but I only have this one, okay, I'll be using number five, the graded five hook, crochet hook. So let's start. So to create a slip knot and a chain stitch, what you're going to do is, uh, Wrap your yarn around your finger, insert your hook through that finger, yarn over, pull through that loop, stretch the yarn so you already have a slip knot. Then, to create a chain stitch, you wrap your yarn around the hook, pull through the stitch, you already have or created a chain stitch again wrap and pull wrap and pull through the loop so you have to create enough uh, chain stitch to cover this area again of your body okay I will not be finishing the rest of the chain stitch to reach this one but for you, you have to finish this one. I'm only doing this as a reference on how to create the crochet top that I have shown you. So, the next step is for you to mark this last chain that you have created. Put your finger on that one and add additional chain two. One, two. Okay, and we will be starting how to create a double crochet. So, first wrap your yarn around the hook okay this is the last mark or the last stitch that you have done this is where you mark your stitch do not do anything on that stitch go through the next stitch in this part okay insert your hook through that stitch yarn over again pull through that stitch you have three loops right yarn over pull through the first two loops okay you only have two loops left and yarn over again and pull through that two loops you have already created a double crochet so continue doing a double crochet till you reach the end so again to review yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through the next loop so i'll meet you back when you've reached the end so i've finished doing double crochet up until the last stitch now you have finished also to uh, creating the first row of your crochet top now we will be doing the next row the second row and that's what you will be doing also to the succeeding row it on your crochet top so for the next row chain two one two okay flip your work then prepare to for a double crochet and this is the last stitch okay this is the last stitch that you have created in the first row you will be skipping this stitch you will be starting to do a double crochet into this stitch next stitch okay so the reason for you uh, the reason why you have to do that one is to prevent the slanting or the increasing of the uh, of your project because you've already done a chain to chain to stitch over here meaning it already filled up the uh, crochet the, the stitch for this row i for this stitch so continue again doing a double crochet till you've reached the end of the row over here okay 
I'm almost done on my row of double crochet second row so I'll be showing you what I what mistake I have committed when I'm starting to learn how to crochet so I always stop at this stitch on my double crochet then I will repeat what I've did here meaning chain two then skip this stitch then do a double crochet however we have chain two over here right so that is still part of the first row and you will still be doing your double crochet on that area okay then that's the time you will be doing chain two and flip your work around then again do not do a double crochet on this stitch rather do a double crochet on this stitch so continue doing the step till you have a panel or a row that already reach this part of your body okay meaning below your breast and above your breast area so after that i'll meet after that we will be dealing with the next step when you already have a panel that is in your size we will be starting to decrease our pattern so we will be doing this diagonal pattern now by decreasing double crochet in each row so how to decrease it's also the same as doing the straight double crochet we have simple step to change so chain two again prepare for a double crochet do not do anything on this one do a double crochet on this stitch okay but again for a normal double crochet you will pull through this yarn into these two loops but since we are decreasing you will not pull this one over here you will be doing additional double crochet on the next stitch over here okay then pull through the stitch you already have four loops instead of three loops on a normal double crochet then yarn over pull through that two loops and pull through that three loops okay meaning you have combined these two double crochet in one stitch okay so only on the first part you will start oh uh, you will do the decrease double crochet for the succeeding sti succeeding stitches okay we will do a normal stitch just like that okay so continue doing this one till we've reached the last two stitches on the row okay so we've reached the last two stitches of this row okay so we will also again do a double a decrease double crochet for this side so you will be decreasing at the very first stitch and at the very last stitch again do a normal double crochet for the first part but instead of pulling this one i this yarn on these two loops you will insert now this on the last hook creating four loops then insert the loop i insert into two loops then yarn over and insert for the three loops so that will give you the is slanting pattern on that video okay so again i'll be showing you again chain two turn your work do not again do anything from this part start doing a double crochet decrease double crochet for these two stitches and afterwards create a normal double crochet for the succeeding stitches up until you've reached the last two stitches okay okay now continue doing this pattern till you are satisfied with the length maybe around this part of your body 
Okay, so after we have done, or you are done with this part, or making your crochet top or halter top, we will be doing this pattern. So, it, uh, the number of rows for this pattern also depends on the size that you want. Before, I want it longer, but when I, when I try to put it on, it almost reached my neckline. So, I have to stop on this four rows. But you can have it longer or shorter depending on what you want. So, to create this pattern, what you're going to do is chain 3 this time. 1, 2, 3. Not chain 2. Flip your work. Okay. Again. Leave this crochet. Right? Leave this stitch. And also the next stitch. You will be doing a double crochet on the third stitch over here. So do a double crochet on that part. Okay, that will give you the space pattern. Then for the succeeding stitches, chain one and skip this stitch, the next stitch. You will be doing a double crochet on the second stitch chain one skip the first stitch okay double crochet on the second stitch so that is the pattern chain one the no crochet here the next one will be on the second stitch so continue doing this pattern till you've reached the very end so, for example, you have an odd number, meaning you've chain 1, and you will be doing a double crochet on this part. Then you have an extra stitch. What you're gonna be doing is to do a normal double crochet like that. Okay. Chain 1 again. Then do the double crochet on that next stitch. So, it's fine. It is fine if at the very last you have two stitches combined. You don't have the chain one space. Okay? Just to give that pattern. It's fine. Okay? So, for the next row, again, we will continue the pattern. Chain 3, 2, 3. Turn your work. And your double crochet now will be on the chain one space, the space that you have created. Here. Okay, then again, chain 1, double crochet on the chain space. Okay, so that will, that's the pattern till you've reached the end.